Hey, it's Ryan from simplybetterpiano.com, and today I want to show you a really awesome way to think about chords on the piano. This way of thinking about chords might be a little different than what you're used to, but it is super helpful and it has helped me in my own piano playing for many, many years. And if you are interested in getting better at playing piano, I want you to check out my free guide. It's called Seven Things You Need to Do to Sound Great at Piano. It has the seven skills that I think are most crucial for contemporary piano players to really sound great at piano. So check that out at simplybetterpiano.com slash seven things. Go there download it completely for free, and it will really help you out. What I want to show you today is how to start thinking about chords as numbers, not just as chords. This will help you understand better how chords relate to each other and how they relate to whatever key or scale you're playing in. Let me show you what I mean. So let's say we have a chord progression here. We're gonna do C major, E minor, A minor, and then F. And it's great to be able to play those chords and understand how they're made and understand how to transition from one chord to the next smoothly. That's great. But we can actually go a little bit deeper. Let me show you. Right now I'm playing in the key of C major. And here's the scale that goes with C major. C, D, E, F, G, A, and B. And then we have C again at the top. Now let's assign each one of those scale steps a number. So C is number one, D, the second note up is number two, E is number three, F is four, G is five, A is six, and B is seven. And now let's look at those four chords we just played in that chord progression. Let's start with C major. That's the first chord. And C major, the root of C major is C, right? That's the note that the chord is named after. And C, if you remember, is the first scale step of the C major scale. So because it's the first note in the scale, we can call a C major chord the one chord in the key of C. So this is the one chord that we start on. Now the next chord was the E minor chord. Let's take a look at that. The E minor chord has E as its root. And so E, if you can see, is the one, two, third step up in the key of C on the C scale. So E minor is actually the three chord, the three chord, or we could call it the three minor chord if we wanted to, because it's a minor chord. Now, the next chord was an A minor chord. Can you figure out which note on the scale A is? Let's find out. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's the six chord or the six minor chord. And the fourth chord that we had was F. And F is the one, two, three, four chord in the key of C. Is this making sense? Are you catching what I'm saying here? So now instead of just having C, E minor, A minor, F, what we have is in the key of C, we have the one chord, the three chord, the six chord, and the four chord. One, three, six, and four. This can come in very handy when we want to transpose a song. Let's say we're playing that song, we think, no, it's a little too low for my voice, or maybe a singer singing, it's a little too low or a little too high, and we want to change keys. If we know that the chord progression is one, three, six, four, and if we know the scale of whatever key we're going to, then we can know which chords are gonna sound like those same chords in that key. Let me show you what I mean. So let's say, okay, we're gonna transpose it to G major now. Now G major, has these notes, G, A, B, C, D, E, and F sharp, okay? G is the first note, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then back up to G for the one note again. So that chord progression was one, three, six, four. The one chord in G is the G major chord. The three chord is one, two, three, B minor. The sixth chord, one, two, three, four, five, six, is E minor. And the four chord is one, two, three, four, C major. So now we have G major, B minor, E minor, C, just like this. So 
So now it's the same chord progression, but just in a different key. If you've ever heard of the Nashville number system, that is a system that was popularized by studio musicians in Nashville, that also takes advantage of thinking about chords as numbers. And that way the musicians knew what numbers to play, and then they could figure out the key later on in the studio, they could transpose it if they needed to. So let me know in the comments if this is confusing or if you have questions about this. And otherwise, let me give you a couple of chord progressions to practice and think about this week. The first one is the chord progression that we've already been looking at. One, three, six, four. So in the key of C, that would be C, E minor, A minor, and F major. And remember the three chord and the six chord of a major scale are both minor, but the one chord and the four chord are both major. Another popular chord progression you might come across is this one. A minor, F, C, G, which in the key of C is six, four, one, five. Let's transpose that up to G now. The sixth chord is E minor. The four chord is C. The one chord is G. And the five chord is D. So that progression in G major looks like that. So this week, take these two chord progressions, one, three, six, four, and six, four, one, five, and try to play them in some different keys and see if you can get used to thinking about them as numbers in different keys and in different scales rather than just chords. And let me know if you'd like me to do more videos on scales and chords and music theory like this. This is a topic that I love to talk about, so I'm sure I will do some more videos in the future. And you can also check out my video on why it's important to practice major scales. It should be linked right up there, I think. Otherwise, definitely check out my guide, Seven Things You Need to Do to Sound Great at Piano. It's completely free at simplybetterpiano.com slash seven things. Download it. Otherwise, thanks for watching today, and we'll see you in the next video.